During the Christmas season, children eagerly wait for Santa Claus. The name Santa Claus originated from the Bishop St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas did many good deeds, and in order to avoid the public eye, he always wore black. After his death, people started to give presents to poor children in honor of St. Nicholas. However, the image of the early Santa Claus is a little different from the Santa Claus we know now. So, when did Santa Claus start to have a red hat, red clothes, and a white beard? Types of Trademarks This is an advertisement model that Coca-Cola made in 1931. Red is Coca-Cola's trademark color, while white represents the foam of the soft drink. When sales dropped in the winter, they remade their advertisement by dressing Santa in red. A red-clad Santa Claus with a bottle of Coca-Cola in one hand easily became a household image. What changed the image of Santa Claus was none other than Coca-Cola's color trademark. A color trademark is a trademark where color is combined to existing word marks, figurative marks or logos, or a trademark consisting only of colors. As the industry developed, trademarks evolved and the scope of trademark protection expanded. A new form of trademark that caught people's eyes began to appear. Three-dimensional items or products like 3D signs, KFC's Colonel Mannequin, Jean-Paul Gaultier's perfume bottle, and more can be registered as three-dimensional trademarks. Three-dimensional photos or videos are usually used to protect products because they cannot be reproduced or duplicated. These kinds of holograms can also be a trademark. Clips of film company logos and animated emoticons are all motion marks. To differentiate themselves from other products, visual elements like these are important. But now, things that cannot be perceived through sight like sound, smell, and location can be protected as trademarks as well. These sounds are registered as sound trademarks. It's because people can recall a certain product or company by just hearing these sounds. But Harley-Davidson's motorcycle exhaust sound couldn't be registered as a sound trademark. Because the motorcycle exhaust sound was a sound that was inevitably made when any engine started, it wasn't distinct enough to function as a particular company's trademark. A lemon-scented toner in a laser printer and an almond-scented vehicle lubricating oil can be registered as scent trademarks. Adidas managed to obtain a position mark by precisely putting three stripes on a specific area of their products. At the end of Rotring stationery, there are red rings. That is also a position mark. With the development of medium, the range of trademark protection is also expanding. From two-dimensional trademarks to trademarks you can see, feel, and touch. These new trademarks allow customers to organically become aware of a product. Now is the time for companies to develop brands that appropriately utilize new forms of trademarks, create new marketing strategies, and advance into the global market.